It, it is fundamentally profound in that the, the the smartest creatures, as far as we know, on this earth are humans. Um, is our defining characteristic. Yes. Um, we're obviously uh, weaker than, say, chimpanzees, less agile, um, but we are smarter. So uh, now, what happens when something uh, vastly smarter than the smartest person uh, comes along in silicon form? Uh, it's very difficult to predict what will happen in that circumstance. It's called the singularity. It's you know, there's a singularity like the black hole because yes. you, you don't know what happens after that. It's hard to predict. So I think we should be cautious with uh, AI. Whether or not it wants to protect itself from people or from other AI, how far away are we from something that's really truly sentient? Well, I mean, you can argue that any group of people, like, a, like a, a company is essentially a, a cybernetic collective of people and machines. That's what a company is. And then there are different, there's different levels of complexity in the way these companies are formed. And then there are sort of, there's this sort of like a collective AI in, in the Google sort of search, Google search, where we're all sort of plugged in as like, like nodes on the network, like leaves on a big tree. And we're all, we're all feeding this network without questions and answers. We're all collectively programming the AI. And, the, the, and Google, plus the, all the humans that connect to it, are one giant cybernetic collective. This is also true of Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all these social networks. They're giant cybernetic collectives. Humans and electronics all interfacing and constantly now, constantly connected. Yes, constantly. Fast forward, you created uh, or you co created OpenAI. Yes. Uh, ChatGPT has been incredibly successful, incredibly successful. It's uh, the, the, the fastest growing ever story. And uh, after having created open AI, suddenly you say, oh, oh, we should have a pause. Some people say, oh, it's because he has not done it. Well, I, I mean, I didn't think anyone would actually agree to the pause, um, but I thought just for the, for the record, uh, I just want to say, I think we should pause. Um, I didn't think that's uh, anyone that the... Why do you want to shoot? Well, I think that there's, there's a real danger for digital super intelligence uh, having negative consequences. And so if we are not careful with creating artificial general intelligence, uh, we could have potentially a catastrophic outcome. So, no, I think there's a range of possibilities. I think the most likely outcome is positive for AI. But, it, but that's not every possible outcome. So we, we need to minimize the probability that something will go wrong with uh, digital superintelligence. It's going to become more connected to us, right? Yes, things are getting more and more connected. They're at this point constrained by bandwidth. Our input and output is slow, particularly output. Output got worse with thumbs. You know, we just have like 10, 10 megas now with thumbs. But images are just are also are there a way of communicating at high bandwidth. You take pictures, you send pictures to people. It sends, that's, that communicates far more information than So what happened with you where you decided or you took on a more fatalistic act? Like what was there any specific thing or was it just the inevitability of our future?